I'm pleased to say we have a representative of one of the great leaders on Capitol Hill involved in both recognizing and trying to counter what the Chinese are doing, particularly in the arena of their abuses of human rights. Um, I'm personally of the view that a country that treats its own people terribly is unlikely to treat ours very well. I'm pleased to introduce Piero Tozzi. He is a staff member on the House Foreign Affairs Committee working with one of its leaders, um, now ranking member Congressman Chris Smith of New Jersey, uh, to talk a little bit about uh, what the congressman's focus is and ways in which the Committee on the Present Danger China can be of help to him. Piero. Well, thank you, Frank, and thank you really for convening this and being such a, a galvanizing figure. It's really important, I think, what you're doing and what all of you out here are doing. I just very briefly, and unfortunately, Congressman Smith had a prior commitment, could not be here with you, but he asked me to come and talk about three pieces of legislation that he has introduced already in this new Congress. Uh, the first is the Uyghur Human Rights Act. Uh, the second is a bill on fentanyl and China's role in, in exporting fentanyl to the United States. And the third piece of legislation is uh, Chinese Influence Act, which talks about China's uh, penetration of uh, institutions here in the United States. Um, the following on Bob Fu's remarks, the, the Uyghur Human Rights Act, we have over a million people that are kept in concentration camps. One of the most egregious human rights violations uh, is occurring right now in, in, in China. Uh, it is also something that, just following up on, on remarks that we just heard, marries big technology with that. Uh, China is using artificial intelligence, uh, tracking to, to, tr uh, to track down Uyghur uh, dissidents and uh, you know we really it, 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 for for the purpose of you know, the intrinsic value of human dignity here uh, the it is important that we do take a stand for uh, on behalf of the Uyghurs and other oppressed minorities in China but uh, beyond that though the importance of human rights and human rights legislation. People sometimes think only in terms of, uh, of hard legislation, military power, but it's also very important that we do emphasize human rights. You know, when we do meet with other countries, uh, especially OIC countries, many of them, particularly in Africa, have been very silent, Organization of Islamic Countries, uh, with regards to China's uh, uh, treatment of the Muslim Uyghur population. Uh, this is a terrible abdication, I think, of moral responsibility, and oftentimes it's done because of their involvement in China's Belt and Road Initiative or because of the debt pressure that China puts on these countries. So it is very important when we highlight uh, in our meetings that uh, what China is doing to a Muslim uh, minority within China. And it also, I think, helps our uh, geostrategic objectives of countering China. The second bill, uh, the fentanyl bill, uh, you know, China, uh, uh, I think, imprinted in Chinese memory is the that of the Opium War and the indignities that they suffered and the, what drugs did to China. Well, in some ways, they've now had a chance to reverse that. And we see China as a major producer of fentanyl, which is this uh, highly uh, addictive artificial opioid, uh, which kills people. It's a killer substance. A little tiny dose of fentanyl is enough to, to, to um, uh, uh, kill. That's one of the reasons why we have so many drug overdoses here. China has this idea of asymmetric warfare, not direct confrontation, but using drugs such as fentanyl. They are a producer, A, of fentanyl and also precursor chemicals that are then processed in places like Mexico and smuggled into the, the, the border. So Mr. Smith has introduced legislation that would identify those that are involved in uh, the production of fentanyl and to, to uh, uh, sanction them. Finally, the Chinese Influence Act. Uh, Mr. Smith has held two hearings on the Confucius Institutes uh, here that we have in, in, in China. He had a GAO report done on the Confucius Institutes. That's just one example of how China uh, pushes its uh, uh, ideas on university campuses here. One of the things that the Chinese Influence Bill would do is uh, require FARA registration, Foreign Agent uh, uh, Registration Act registration of Confucius Institutes and others that seek to push uh, China's influence here. Anyway, thank you very much and thank you, Mr. Gaffney, for the work that you do. Thank you. Thank you.